Good morning, everyone. My hair looks like a wreck, but that's okay. I'm going to work. I'm not trying to impress anyone. Although I just did my eyebrows. They're gorgeous. I'm so excited. They look beautiful. Like, oh, girl, calm down. Okay, sorry. Sorry to start the video like that. I kind of want to make this whole experience on camera because we're in a time where I feel like this needs to be shown. It's a part of history. You guys can already tell by the title what this video is. I am doing my first dose of Mederma vaccination for COVID. COVID-19. Now, here's the thing. I work in healthcare slash childcare. I feel like I do get the vaccine a bit sooner than the general public. I mean, I suppose I am an important person that needs a vaccination sooner. I'm really appreciative of those that were able to get it because it's just, it's, it's a necessary thing at this point, obviously. Here's the thing too, is that I was very hesitant on getting the vaccine at this point in my life. They could be completely honest with you because I didn't know how accurate the vaccine was. Obviously with every person, it's gonna react differently. Although this gave me a little more hope is that people in my family had done it. And with the way they reacted, there was a positive, like there was nothing to complain about. About besides like arm pain, but like that's with any shot you get. I kind of wanted to film my experience of getting it beforehand. Now, right now is the day before I'm actually getting the vaccine. Today is Friday, tomorrow is Saturday. I'm getting it tomorrow morning or not even morning. The appointments filled up so quickly for the vaccine. It was kind of scary. My boss texted us or okay, she emailed us originally and was like, hey, whoever wants a vaccine, we're gonna get it. Like everything's opening March 1st. So that's kind of the expectation we all had was March 1st. Although in the county I live in, they decided to open everything up before March 1st and do it earlier. Right now it's March or March, February 26th. I don't think you can even see my watch from there, but February 26th right now. Yesterday, my boss was like, everything's open. Like we have a group text at my work that my boss texted us and was like, it opened, like here's the link, go, go, go basically. And I was working with one of the kids when this happened, like I was at work basically. And my boss was like, just, get the appointment when you can because they're gonna fill up quickly. It filled up so quickly that like, I don't think people at my work even were able to sign up because it filled up that quickly. At least in the locations that were available on that website that my boss did text, email, whatever out. But I was able to get an appointment luckily for again tomorrow. And I believe the second dose, we have to get it within 28 or 30 days or something. I think it depends on which vaccine you get because I think there's also the Johnson & Johnson one. I wanted to start filming today because I want to get tested beforehand just in case. Although I have a 99% like good feeling that I don't obviously have it, but I'd rather not risk that. So I'm starting to film today. I have posted on my channel before me getting tested. So if you want that full shebang, I believe I have a playlist of it, but everything will be in the description. I'll link everything down below so you guys can see the full testing and how I did it for the first time or for the first few times, I should say. At this point, I'm a regular and people just like ask me how to do it. I do it often because of work just to be safe because I'm working around people constantly. My hair is this part of my hair out. It's bothering me. Gonna go get tested right now. I have a later shift this morning. I have the time to go do it before work and that's what I'm gonna do and then keep you guys updated on the process of me getting the actual shot which I am so nervous for. Okay my hand is like really pale. I'm gonna stop here. Bye. So I made it to my COVID site place that I'm doing my testing. I don't know. I don't think I'll really film this experience because I don't want to show you guys me shoving something up my nose basically because I do the nose swab testing and that's not fair to you guys. I'll just explain the experience I'm doing for the COVID testing for those that don't know. I come to the location I come to and you basically show a QR code and your ID and then you go do the test. It's a drive through Also, since the last, I think, a couple of videos that I did do for the testing, since the last time I've probably, again, done one of those, they do appointments now. Okay, so the very first time I did it, they did a mouth swab appointment it took at least like an hour but it, like i got out in an hour this location i currently come to didn't do appointments before biggest mistake because there would be thousands of people coming throughout the day they used to say that like three four five thousand people will come to the location i'm coming to you would used to get your test in two or three days maybe longer i think the longest for me was almost a week not even that but i used to have to wait three hours to get my test like that and this was like a half a mile location you know what i mean so there were so many people and i was so packed and now they do I think a 1500 limit so 1,500 people. You usually get your test within a day or two at the latest. I'm hoping for my test to come a lot sooner. Also, the fact that I'm doing my test a lot sooner in the morning, 
I usually do it after work and later afternoon in all hopes that I get it before I go tomorrow. Now, my thoughts before going to do this vaccine. I think I mentioned this earlier, like five seconds ago for you guys, is that I'm nervous because I was super back and forth on it. But the closer that the appointment day gets to the actual date, you know what I mean? I'm getting more and more nervous. Like, I don't know how to feel about it. It's shown to be effective and not effective. So it's just, I don't know what's gonna happen, but I'm gonna take my test or at least wait to take my test. See what happens. everyone it is officially vaccination day and i'm sorry if you guys are an awkward angle as you can tell i'm driving to need to do my vaccine here's the thing i don't know if i explained this yesterday first off i'm going to tell you guys i am covid negative from me doing my covid testing yesterday here's a screenshot of it if you guys want me to prove it but i am on my way in to do a vaccine and i think my boss was telling me this yesterday when she got hers done I'm gonna pick you guys up because the light is now green and I feel like you guys are gonna shift. As I was saying, I don't know how much, you know, detail I'm able to give to you guys or like, I don't even think I'm gonna take any video when I go inside because I'm trying to look for where this place is. Obviously for other people's privacy, that whole thing, I am personally not gonna try to film that much inside. If I can get, um, picture is fine but like i don't want to ruin other people's privacy and i i need to follow people sorry about that i had to do the parking situation with this place but i am parking right now in a spot focus on parking let's not hit anyone in the process this location looks like an old baby's r us yeah from what i know right now just to give you guys this hint right now is that you need a letter from your work or your school or whatever to get the Moderma vaccine right now. And so I got one from work and I just wanted to let you guys know that right now is that you need that letter. But I am nervous. I'm kind of nervous for the side effects, but I'm gonna tell you guys my experience obviously after I do everything. So watch for that right now in a couple of seconds. <laughs> has been going in and out ever since i've been having like a full work week this week my voice has been going in and out so please don't think i'm sick or anything i'm really not i got my card for my first vaccination dosage yeah hold up hold up i'm gonna hide there we go my first card and i'm so excited now my arm is sore and they make you wait okay so what they did for me was i walked up to the desk they asked me my id and they just say okay go ahead to the first desk they are all like all the staff are overly friendly because i feel like they know that people are nervous all the staff are very friendly they point you to a desk they ask you for your id and because i was mentioning this a second ago that you need a letter from your work or from the school that you are going to or whatever like they ask a letter of reference basically asking you that what's your reasoning why you're getting the vaccine right now again i've mentioned this before but i work with kids and so because of that i was able to get the vaccine now so i showed the woman my id and the paper she said okay you're gonna follow this little pathway until you reach a stop sign and they're gonna tell you what to do follow that little pathway there's this other person that refers you to the table that you're gonna get your shot at and which i did and the woman was very motivating and she was like akuna matata like you're gonna be fine and i'm like you know what your energy is like passing off on me and then the, she gave me the shot she kind of went over the symptoms you can get whatever the pain everything and then she gave me the shot and then they have you wait 15 minutes after getting the shot to see if you're fully okay not having any side effects i waited my 15 minutes and now i'm in the car obviously my arm is sore i think that usually happens with vaccines but besides that i'm feeling pretty good i'll do you guys later on how i'm feeling right now i'm feeling pretty good good morning everyone you could tell i just like woke up a few minutes ago and i'm still trying to wake up i have work today today is monday i got my shot on saturday so it's been a couple of days i'm uploading this video as like today as i'm talking to you guys about this but i thought i'd just update you guys on the very like last part Part of this i guess on how i'm feeling days after getting the vaccine i feel pretty good i didn't have much of the side effects the only thing is is that my arm was sore i said this on saturday when i got the shot was that my arm was sore it's kind of gotten worse as far as the soreness but today like when i woke up this morning it feels a lot better i thought i'd tell you guys this tidbit of information too is that when you get the shot and they say that you have like arm pain with it do not take advil with it but take tylenol just because 
some medications if it is COVID, work with COVID better. That's why they recommend Tylenol over Advil. I did have a sore arm for a little while. Today, it feels like a little bit sore, not as sore as it has been at all, like not nearly as sore, again, compared to the last few days. Right now, it just kind of feels tired, not as bad as I would have thought for waking up this morning. Also beyond that, the only other symptoms I kind of felt was feeling really exhausted. I just felt really tired that day I got the shot. And that's probably part of the reason why I haven't filmed since is that I've just felt a lot more exhausted since getting the shot and I don't know why. Besides that, my hands just got freezing after getting that shot. And I think it's more of the fact that the vaccine is like getting into your system a little bit more. So with that, my hands got cold. It's normal. I've gotten cold before with other shots like the flu shot and stuff like that. I assumed that getting those vaccines and those shots would be similar as far as like how I felt afterward. And besides those two things of like feeling tired and feeling cold, like I didn't feel anything else. That's all I would have to add for the end of this video. If you guys have any questions about the process of me doing the vaccine, feel free to comment it below, message me on Instagram, Twitter, whatever else I have on social media. Feel free to ask me questions. And when I get my second dose, I could follow up with you guys for the second part of this. There's gonna be at least a month where you guys can ask anything you like and I'll add that into the second video. I feel like I could have answered or could have talked about a lot more in this video. Keeping that in mind, I would like to know if you guys have any additional questions for the second part of this. So I'm just gonna end the video here. <laughs> also, because I'm uploading this video today, I'm sorry that this video has been released late because I could have edited this a lot sooner, but I just did it, I don't know why. So you guys are getting this video a lot later than I normally post i normally post 11 45 a.m every day or not every day every monday and wednesday pst i know this video is coming out late i'm sorry i had a weekend let's just say that i'm sorry this video is coming out late with this i hope you guys have a good day a good night a good slumber whenever you're watching this and i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye